Berkeley. I'm Brittany. <laughs> hey, I'm Allison. This, this is, is Books on Court. Uh, I forgot to say my name. <laughs> was. I thought also, you just forgot who you were. <laughs> we don't ever say hey. I liked it. Hey, I mean, guys. I wasn't opposed. It was just, hey. <laughs> I know. I was like, what's happening? <laughs> like she was starting a phone call. I felt like it was a phone call. I can't see Berkeley's face because the pillow's in the way. Oh, it's here, I promise. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, oh, how wow. was y'all's week? It's only been one week since we've seen each other. I know. We're, like, actually asking about our last week. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Um, Sorry, I have to open a plastic baggie. It's so loud. I know. It's fine. I was this gonna... is ASMR. I'm, I what? disagree. I don't like it. What is ASMR? Uh, I don't know what it stands for. It's like the relaxing noises that people listen to. Yeah, people like make little like tapping oh, sounds. Oh yeah, we've talked and, about this. And like the like the I don't think we've talked about it on the slime, podcast. Poking slime. No, but I just really yes, love the soap cutting. The Try Guys. And I've been watching a lot of Tasty videos. Both lately have talked about ASMR. Yeah, well, I watch soap cutting videos. I think that's in the same category. I like soap cutting yeah. videos. It makes me feel good on the inside. I it just I can't all that shit they're wasting. Uh, you don't know that maybe they're like cutting them to put them into bath bombs. I don't think that's how bath bombs work. I mean, maybe. <laughs> I don't make bath bombs, so I don't know. It's like this I make them every day. Bath Do bombs? you? Just <laughs> it's like the slime. I'm just gonna epidemic. like match your voice and like listen here, bitch. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that. Bitch. bitch, 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 bitch. You know what else? Berkeley, huh? What'd you do this week? Yeah, um, yeah, um, it's been. Pr- uh, I really don't remember, but I think it's been a good week. It's been a nice week. Well, nothing so bad happened that you remember something bad. So, I went like a whole week and a half without drinking. So that's cool. Broke it today, but it's fine. It's my birthday. She was like, you know, 10 days sober. <laughs> she didn't quite get a coin. I bet we can make her a 10 day coin. Can I have a 10 day coin? 10 day coin. 10 day coin. 10 day coin. Not if you slur when you ask for it. it just, <laughs> <laughs> uh, today doesn't count because it's like my birthday in 25 minutes. So I Woo-hoo. get a free pass. I don't know if that's how coins work, but I mean, I'm fine with it. I get free pass, Brittany. Okay. Yeah. I'm into it. Get out of jail. Free card. All right, Allison, how was your week? It was really good. Nothing exciting happened. That can be good. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like same boat as Berkeley. Mm-hmm. Today started spring break, so. Woo! Yeah. I got a new wine opener tonight, Brittany, like yours. I love mine. Is it like the one that. Yes. <laughs> and like pulls it out for you. You know you can use that as a weapon. I'm super curious. Can I ask you how much it cost? Because you're at a Pampered Chef thing, so I just want to know. Are you going to judge me for it? No, I just want to compare it to the cost of mine. It was a 45. It was 50. Yeah. Unless unless your name's Kyle and then it was 10. Uh, Is it a CO2 one or is it like a... A CO2 one? No, it's not a CO2 one. Do you buy your wine cork openers at the gun store? Like what? Uh, my mother-in-law has one that like it blows it you there's like cartridges that go into it that's so and you stressful. stab the, you buy cartridges for your yeah wine you opener? stab the cork with it and then that's you so push the cookie. button and it goes and it that blows. does sound really great it's fucking cool but mine takes about 30 seconds and it costs me 25 dollars yeah this one's instantaneous you just stab it and push the button, and it blows the cork out of the bottle. Yeah, but if I can't wait 30 seconds for that bottle of wine, then I probably shouldn't be drinking that bottle of wine. Maybe you got shit to do, though. Berkeley's yeah. recovering 10 days sober. <laughs> Let's not judge her. I don't, she's not 10 days sober anymore. Well, she's one day drunk. Thanks to Applebee's. <laughs> and their $2 deals. $2 so absolute punch. So, Brittany, I heard that you had a situation at work today. I mentioned this in passing during sound check. I had two situations at work today. Um, 
I screamed. Like, like terrified screamed twice today at work. Two separate occasions. Wait, I would like to take a minute uh-huh. to look on the bright side. You have told me bef- before, and I'll edit this out if you don't want to keep it in. Because I learned a lot about editing last week. Oh, that was a good thing that happened. Uh-huh. Um, that one of your biggest fears is that if something bad is happening to you, you won't be able to scream. Uh-huh. And Oh, my gosh. That's such a good point, Allison. Like, you are you were able to scream. Oh, my gosh. What an encouraging moment that was. I wish either of these situations had actually been a reason to be in fear, but I felt in fear when well, it happened. But the, you really felt truly fearful, uh-huh. and you could scream. So good. Yeah. There, I have a memory as a child one time when I was really, truly terrified, and I tried to scream, and nothing came out, and I think it scarred me a little bit for life. That's fine, though. It is scarring to think that you wouldn't be able to scream for help if you if you needed yeah. it. Okay, well, so at work today, one, I had my earbuds in, um, and it wasn't loud, and, like, I work on the second floor of a building, um, and without making it sound too terrifying, because it is stable... But you can feel the movement when other when people are walking around, like pretty readily. Kind of like when you're in the mall and you feel the top floor move. A lot more than that, but yeah, kind of like it, but like very much magnified. That's scary. Yeah, it kind of feels like you're on a boat. Oh. But you're not rocking back and forth. It's just moves when someone walks. It sounds around. relaxing. I mean, it's not, but it, you get used to it. Points of view. A different. new a new employee. <laughs> I had a meeting with a like a. She's not super new, but she's fairly new as our safety person. And she doesn't really have much of a reason to be over on our side of the building. And our offices are the only ones over there that are like that. Then tell that bitch to leave. And, no, it was so funny. We were in the conference room. <laughs> I'm just kidding. In our engineering conference room. And I, I felt the move mm-hmm. because the garage doors were being opened and a truck was backing in to the first floor, which is right under it. And you could feel the building move. And I saw her just kind of like there were four of us in the meeting. And everyone else has been there for a long time and they knew it. But so it happened and I saw her like kind of brace herself and look around and I was like, it's normal. It's just, it's, it's a, it, it's at the receiving dock. And she was like, oh, and the other p- two people in the meeting were looking around at us like, what? And I was like, it just shook, guys. And she was like, I had no idea what that was. It was really funny. Anyways, so I was entering data and I was like confused on the data and I had my audiobook going. So I was already kind of tuned out of the audiobook. Because I was tuned into like I had, normally data entry for me is like mindless, but I was confused on something, so I was like really thinking hard. I had background noise going in my earbuds, and I didn't feel my boss walk up behind me like I always do. Oh, so I felt like he was standing right behind me, but he swore he wasn't. I just got chills because this is like my worst nightmare. It was, it was funny, but our like our office is really empty on Fridays. There's only five of us there, like. So he walks up behind me and he goes, Brittany. Oh my God. I and I was like, pooped I literally pants. screamed and pushed away from my desk <laughs> and like rolled away. <laughs> and I was like, I go, ah, shit. Oh <laughs> like, my God. And I have a neurological disease, which is not really that big of a deal. But one of the things that comes with it is misfiring neurons. So whenever I get like really surprised or shocked or scared like that, I have neurons that fire and I get little, normally I get like a prick in like one of my fingers or one of my feet and I got pricks in like both feet and all of my fingers all at the same time and it was terrifying. It was terrifying. But then, so I knew this morning we we knew there was a bird in the building, which like creatures get in our building sometimes. It's not ideal, but like we have fields around us. We have doors that are open a lot of the time, like big, like garage, like bay doors. So it's just, it is what it is. Um, but so there was a bird and like, was the funny thing is we had just talked about it. So I was leaving the sales offices to go up to my office to grab something and come back down. And to go from those two places, you have to exit the like enclosed office areas, walk through the shop and go back into the engineering offices. Mm hmm. So I'm walking through like a T-shaped hallway and as I'm walking through the hallway, like the bird, I guess, was on the ground just inside of the T and it flipped out, flew up, hit the wall, hit the ceiling, like, like like hit all kinds. I heard it hit at least three things. But in that time frame, I have screamed, turned around and ran back into the sales offices where this door has a very, like the top half of the door is basically a window. So they all saw me. 
Oh, my God. <laughs> because I screamed and brought attention to myself. But then I get right inside the door. And as I'm entering the door, I realize what happened. Like, I realize what, like, what was flying out at me and why I should be afraid mm-hmm. or why I shouldn't be afraid. So then I'm, like, dying of laughter. Like, I'm almost, like, on the ground, bent over. Like, it was ridiculous. That poor bird. I know. Not that poor bird. That poor bird was a dumb shit. They're all We tried dumb. so long to get that bird out. We chased it. We opened all- Seriously, I can't count the amount of garage doors in our building, but there's seriously probably at least like 15. And we opened almost all of them, chasing it through the building, trying to get it out. We seriously spent like 40 minutes. Sounds like a waste of work time. It was, but my boss was with me, so. (laughs) Damn it, Berkeley. My boss was leading the charge. Okay. We left a meeting to do that. So while you're telling that story, you're talking about data entry, and it just reminded me of today. Because my data entry is entering in grades because I'm a teacher. Mm-hmm. But um, that's basically what I'm doing too. I'm entering grades for our different departments. Just come teach with me. Kids love you. They do. but And I love kids, but I don't think I could love them if I spent that amount of time with them. I hate kids. You have one. You love I her. I love some kids. But Nate like the Lily. vast, yeah, the vast <laughs> majority, they actually really kind of suck. You would love Annalise. Lily threw a sippy cup and at my face Honorary while I mention. was on the toilet yesterday. <laughs> Just because I wanted to give her more toilet paper while she was sitting on her potty. Um, Nate tried to pull me off of the toilet the other day while I was pooping. I was like, and he got mad at me. But why? What did he need you to do that I don't was know. important? I, I think he wanted me to open a granola bar. And I he brought me the granola bar, but I was still pooping this is so tmi but i don't care it's mom life what a dick and i was like i'm not gonna open this granola bar <laughs> in the bathroom mean. while i'm going to the bathroom it's so gross you can wait until i'm done and also i locked the door how did you get in here i thought i locked the door obviously i didn't Why are so- should i be embarrassed about that story Mm-mm. okay good you guys were both really quiet back to what i was saying dad entry i was <laughs> how do we do? I don't know I was putting in grades I was putting in spelling tests and um I saw that I was in
Yeah, that's and, hard. Like, but it's good. Like, I'm. <laughs> I was so ready for him to be like
cab. He's like, this is New York. The 